So today, I'm doing something pretty spontaneous. You can't tell by the title, but uh, let me give you some backstory. So, approximately 10 days ago, four of my friends from school who I've known for like all of my teen years, who are now like living away from home in all different places, decided to do a last minute trip to Barcelona for the weekend, this weekend. I said no because I had work, but I was part of the group chat so I saw exactly what they were planning. And then two days ago, I decided to change my mind and I booked flights to Barcelona for two days later, today, Friday, the 7th of September. So, the most last minute spontaneous thing I possibly could have done, but here's the kicker. Before I tell you, let me explain to you just how unlikely it is that these four lads have got together for a trip. One of them is living in Berlin right now, one is living in Lyon, one has been in London for the last nine months, and well, the other guy is back home in Cork with me. But the fact that at such late notice, they were all able to get together for a trip away that is so unlikely, so I was gutted when I wasn't gonna go, but I had to go, so that's why I'm here. But let me tell you what's so funny about it. They don't know I'm here. I thought it'd be pretty cool to show up without telling them, so they think I'm back in Cork, in work. So let's see how this goes. Right, so I'm in the hostel where the guys organized to stay. They were out last night when they arrived in Barcelona, so they're still in bed, hungover as hell, probably. I'm just here charging my phone, did a quick clothes change, walked around outside for a while, and uh, as soon as they get up, I'm gonna message them to like come down here to the social area, and uh, just be like, oh, send us some pictures of your hostel, and uh, here I'll be. So, looking forward to this. So now we're at the beach, we have some volleyball, nice. Savage. Yeah, actually, it's so good. And the head's just crunchy. I got a fish fry. <laughs> Alright, get some HD action. It's like battered, isn't it? Yeah, battered. Alright, here we go. First try. Oh, you sap it off, mate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm allergic to food. It's good. Yeah. Let me put the camera on. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just in the water. Very, very salty water. Never swam in the Mediterranean, I don't think. But it was nice, very warm, uh, dried off, and now we're getting a crispy point in this very scenic beach bar. Check out the lights and everything. Oh, 
guys. Thanks for 60. Just after getting a very interesting message, I won't share exactly what it is yet, just in case it doesn't turn out the way I think it will. But it could be very interesting. It's be um, sick, man. You know, never dull moment. Matty for president. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Good vibes. So I think last night, the last clip you saw me in was in that bar by the beach. Not really sure where I am right now, but it's much nicer than where we're staying, like the area. We'll just explore around here for a while. It's already one o'clock and the guys are just getting up, so I'm just strolling around waiting for them and uh, heading towards the beach. That's about it. So here we are, it's Sagrada Familia. Both go in, actually. I was here last year, but I didn't go inside because the queues were crazy. But we booked in advance, so we're going to have a look and see what we can see. What do you think? Hey look, this is Matthew. Mark. Let me guess, Luke and John. Devil there or something. Sick. Half natty lighting right there. So yeah, just got out of Sagrada Familia. Lucky I got in because uh, I nearly didn't. They wanted me to wear a t-shirt, so lucky I brought one. Um, no flexing in the church, man. No, no flexing on Christianity. Wow! So now we're heading towards the Gothic Quarter to get some food and to like soak up some vibes. Pretty cool. Hunger some guts. <laughs> Check out, this is our hostel roof. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty vibey. So we're just chilling here. Have a few beers and then hit the town. Man, that's like the gherkin of Barcelona. <laughs> Right, so on today's edition of trying a new beer with Matt, we have a flegum, I think. Nine percent, nine percent beer. Oh, that's not bad at all. All right, so I'm pretty much living my nightmare right now. 
I was in a club last night and my phone was stolen from our table. I've tried everything to locate my phone but it's turned off and it just can't be accessed. But like right now I've just gone back to where the club is and it's obviously closed, it's a Sunday. But some dude told me to go in this little gate and through a door down here and like up to the second floor. And this is like really, really dodge. Um, I don't know where I am. But the door for the club, like, is right here. But it's not like the actual official door. It's like the offices for it. Tried ringing the bell, nobody answered. But yeah, this is like an absolute mare. I think. So this is literally where I just like walked in. So I just went up that stairs and I heard people talking behind that door. So I like knocked on the door and these two Spanish cleaners opened it and just like had no time for the lads. Didn't let me in. I tried to ask them to look for it for me, but they just kept saying to go to the office, go to the office, go to the office. But there's just nobody in the office. So, and they just would not look for the phone themselves. Oh man, absolute banger. It sounds very melodramatic, but a lot of good things were happening, so like the universe just took me down a peg. That's what it feels like. But that's very melodramatic. Went for a walk and saw a bunch of homeless people and uh, bought an ice cream for myself, and I feel a bit better now. <laughs> I guess it's times like, it's in times like these when shit hits the fan or something doesn't go your way or something bad happens. First of all, it gives you a bit of perspective. How happy you can be in bad times kind of determines how happy you can be as a person because you can only be like more happy than in times like when something goes wrong. I'm just rambling, but I had an ice cream and I'm having a monster and I'm just gonna try and enjoy the last day of my holiday. Hopefully nothing else will go wrong. I've done everything I can with regards to the phone. Um, I just have to let it go now and stop thinking about it. So yeah, trying to be happy. <laughs> it's all relative at the end of the day. Oh, lads, lads, lads. Oh, God, just like you. Lads on my brand new S9 Plus, but we rented a boat. Now we're out in the water in the harbour of Barcelona. It could be worse. Let's go. Sweet six months, <laughs> <laughs> What's Gucci? Man, the last 24 hours has been a bit of a head wreck. Don't get me wrong, I had an amazing holiday and like surprising the lads with a trip over here was like definitely a good idea. But when something like losing an S9 Plus after only having it for like three weeks, Oh, that really puts a downer on everything. Which makes me think then more about it and realize that I put too much value in like my phone. And sitting around here and kind of going about my day, getting to the airport, traveling here, and having food and just sitting around, makes me realize how much I depend on it. It makes me wonder, is it all that good that I depend on it so much and that like I feel stranded without it? I feel very disconnected, a bit like lost I guess, it's weird. And I appreciate if you give me like advice on what to do and like what I should have done and all this but I literally did everything I possibly could have done to get the phone back but it's just been stolen and God knows where it is now. The worst things have happened, <laughs> just gotta move on, uh, live and learn. And I also want to say that if you watched the last vlog where I lost my passport in Lithuania and then you watched this one where I lose my phone I'm not an irresponsible person. <laughs> Those are the first two things that I've ever lost in my entire life. And they just so happen to be pretty important things. Oh man, my parents are gonna think I'm an idiot. I kinda am though. I'll put it in song. Girl, you should move on.